Isn't it crazy that there are sellers on Amazon selling this product that are making around $200,000 per month? $315,000, $190,000. I think it's absolutely insane. But the real question is, can you and I come in and sell this product? Well, I've done my research. This niche is way too competitive to get into, but there are a ton of other niches that you can potentially sell in on Amazon. And I'm gonna show you in this video how you can find a profitable product with low competition and good margins to sell on Amazon. Now, before we hop into the tutorial, my name is Pretty. I'm a six-figure Amazon seller. And on this channel, I talk about how you can build wealth by using the web. Now let's get into the tutorial. I will see you on my screen. So before I hop into the criteria, I wanna show you the makeup brush set that I was talking about, and you can get a quick overview of how that niche is doing by using Helium 10's X-Ray extension tool. And I love this tool because it literally makes product research and just looking into the niche so much easier. There are players making $107,000, $33,000, $315,000, $190,000 in this niche. And all these players that are making hundreds of thousands of dollars have so much social proof in terms of reviews. So it's almost impossible to rank on page one with them, which is why we're gonna be diving into other niches that are gonna be low competition and very profitable. So what we want to do is hop over to Helium 10 and I like to use the black box tool for Amazon product research because that's exactly what we're doing. And again, Helium 10 is all these amazing tools that you can use. Um, and I absolutely will be doing tutorials on how to use more of these tools in future videos. So please turn on the bell notifications and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Let's hop into black box and here it is. And what we want to do is fill out a lot of this criteria and I'm going to show you exactly what I use. We're going to be using the keyword section and what we want to do is find products that have medium to high demand with low competition. So this is the criteria that I use if I'm trying to find low competition products. We do not want a ton of search volume because products that are searched frequently like super super high volume searches we're not going to be able to really keep up with those products so for the max search volume i like to keep it around ten thousand. so what this means is this product is getting around ten thousand monthly searches now that is a lot but there are products that are getting a lot more searches so what you want to do is play around with the search volume number as well sometimes i'll do five thousand searches which means that product is even lower competition I'm doing 10,000 searches so we get a lot more results and I can run through more examples with you guys. But what you wanna do is really, really change up that criteria so you can find different results. But start with this criteria. So 10,000 monthly searches, we want our monthly revenue to be a minimum of, of at least $5,000. It's not worth getting into a product that's making less than $5,000 because again, you gotta source the product, you gotta make the listing, you gotta do professional pictures, you gotta optimize the listing, and you gotta get it sourced and air shipped or sea shipped based off of the dimensions. So there's a lot of work that goes into creating a really good listing and you don't wanna waste your time doing that if you're only making around $5,000 per month. So let's keep the minimum to at least 5,000 and the max will leave it open. Now for the price. Now, if you're a beginner, you definitely want to have a lower price point because the lower the price point, the cheaper it is going to be to source. So if you're a beginner, you might want to do 20 to $40, but if you have a little more capital, you want to start with 20 to $80 because selling higher priced items is going to generate you more revenue. And so I like to keep the price between 20 to $60. And that's just an example, but you wanna change this up as well when doing product research. So my criteria is always changing. So, you know, sometimes I'll do a search where it's 50 to $100 per, uh, price point. I'll do searches that are 20 to 40. I'll do searches that are 30 to 60. Again, you wanna get different results and you wanna run multiple searches per day. So. That's just the tip, review count. The max review count that I want for a majority of my products is around 300 because I wanna be able to come in into a niche that has low reviews. Low reviews usually mean low competition, especially if there are three players with low reviews that are generating a decent amount of money in that niche. And I'll show you exactly what I mean once we actually run the search, but that is also a tip find products with lower reviews because that means there is room to compete. Now, review rating. 
I sometimes like to put in the review rating. Um, I like to really focus on products with negative reviews because negative reviews means that there are some things that need to be fixed. This product can be innovated. This product can be made better. And ultimately, I'm all about innovation. I'm about giving customers higher quality, innovating their products, making it better than the competition so that people are forced to pick my product over the competitors. And Sometimes I'll put in a four star for the max reviews just so I can see products with lower reviews and just try to figure out how I can make it better. But for this example, I'm gonna leave it blank, but I will come back and usually do four, 4.5, 3.5 to find products that have low reviews. Let's run this search. And before I want run into it, word count, if you want to do word count, you can, but I don't recommend it. What word count is, is like if I'm selling a lemon squeezer, or if I'm selling makeup brushes, that's two words and you could have like the word count in there to be max two, but it really doesn't make sense for this product research tutorial. So leave that alone. Let's run the search and let's get into these results. Now, while this is going, I just want to talk about what you should be looking for in order to green light a product to sell on Amazon. Number one, you want the product to have medium to high demand with low competition. And that is really important if you're trying to find a profitable product to sell on Amazon. You also want to find a product that is innovatable, that you can ultimately make better than the competition. And lastly, you want a product with lower reviews, again, lower competition, so you can come in and launch your product as soon as possible and take a lot of the sales in that niche. Okay, so the results have loaded and what I like to do is grab a notepad and a piece of paper where I can jot down all of these product research um, results. I'm gonna show you exactly what you should be doing in order to even write those products down. So here are the results. I see motivational office wall art that is generating around $7,000 per month. It has a decent amount of reviews and it has good ratings. So let's take a look at that. I'll just open it up. And we also want to take a look at this three tier serving wood tray. Okay, let's take a look at that as well. Um, and I like to just start opening up all these products and dive deeper into them by using the Helium 10 X-ray extension. But right now, what I look for is pro potential products that I'm interested in selling. So I'll keep scrolling. I'm not interested in selling shoes, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, sun visor for a Nissan Ultima. I mean, I'm not interested in selling super niche things like that. Being the change, that's a book. US Olympic shirt, we can't rip anyone off. You know, copyright is a, is a real thing, so you don't wanna do that. Um, Apple Watch band designer. Now, I'm interested in just taking a look. Usually you don't wanna sell like designer because everything's copyright, but maybe it's just like, different designs, I don't know. So let's take a look at that as well. Um, and I'll pick one more that we can take a look at. Swaddle bow set, that also sounds interesting. Don't know what it is really. So let's take a look at that as well. I, what I like to do is come over to that product that we just researched and we are gonna take a look at the first page search results. And what you wanna see is how many reviews do the players have are, is there room to compete? And also, are there any negative reviews and potential things that you can fix about this product? So let me just take a look. All of these products have really, really good reviews. There are some new players. This one is 113, this one has 115. So right off the bat, there are certain players that are new, 107, 28. And what this is telling me that there is room to compete but the only innovation that I can think of when it comes to this product is color. And you can do a different design, you can do a different color, but there's literally no other variation other than color and maybe material. So is this a product that I would want to come in and sell? No, because there's just nothing that I could really do to make this product stand out other than changing the color. And that in my mind, People can copy your color and literally blow you out the water, especially if they use other tactics, um, SEO and just paid PPC ads and all of this. So personally, I would not get into this niche. So let's move on to the next um, 
research results that I found. And this one was the Apple Watch uh, band. So what they have is basically designer sports bands. A lot of these sellers are just in China. You don't want to be an American seller trying to sell this product and potentially risk getting your account banned over this. So this is just a no-go. I'm just not into it. I like products to be innovatable and all you can do is put another designer on this product and I don't want to do that. So let's go to the three tier serving tray wood. Now this product is interesting. It has a good price point and I love the low reviews. Now this is a product that I would consider because the first few search results have very low reviews and the price point is great. So let's keep looking and seeing how this product is doing. Um, I'm gonna use the Helium 10 X-ray extension to just see how this market is, um, how many monthly search results are they getting, and also how much money are they making. Okay, wow, the uh, search volume is very, very low. That is super low, so that already is kind of a turn off when it comes to me trying to do this product because this, product isn't even getting that many searches per month. More searches equals more sales and less searches equals not that many sales. But it could just be for this keyword, um, which is three tier serving tray wood. There could be other keywords that this product is ranking for and is converting sales from. So let's not get discouraged too quick. There are some products that are making a decent amount of money. This one's making around seven, 8,000. 1,000, 22,000, but the 22,000 is the top player. So overall, I would not get into this niche because again, the search volume is super low and there's just really not that much I can do in terms of innovation. I can change the color, but it just doesn't seem like there's enough money into this in this niche for me to get into it. So I'm gonna keep looking and I'll probably just exit this out. So this last example that I wanna show you is motivational office art. And I thought this one was pretty interesting. I like the price point, I like office art, and let's take a look at the revenue that it's generating. So right here, you can see that this product is generating around 5,000, 10,000, 16,000, 3,000, 8,000, 5,000, so there is a decent amount of revenue, but the search volume is really low, surprisingly low. So 55 searches per month. Um, overall, this just isn't something that I'm going to get into because it is a larger item. So also want to focus on finding products that are smaller so you can get them air shipped or sea shipped, whatever you like. Obviously, sea shipping is cheaper, but air shipping is just more convenient. And if it makes sense, it makes sense. But again, you have to take a look at your profit margins and figure out which one you should be doing. But overall, this is a large product that I'm not interested in selling uh, because number one, the search volume sucks. Number two, the product is larger. And number three, there's just not that much revenue or demand ultimately to sell this product. Like not that many people are searching for it. And you know, $10,000 in revenue is good, but there are definitely other products out there that you can sell that will have more revenue. So I'm gonna end this product research tutorial off. But again, guys, what I wanna do is just tell you to go back to Helium 10, keep looking like this marble, cutting board it seems interesting and what i do is just go through all of these pages i literally go through all 10 to 12 pages of the products that i found and i look through all of the results and try to see if i can find one or two potential products and i'll write them down on my notepad and then i will go and dive deeper into those products and ultimately see if it's a product that i want to launch now you should definitely definitely go back and look at more results. And I spent hours doing product research and doing this. And again, I was doing this product research live for you guys and I didn't find any good products, but I wanted to just show you what criteria I use. And again, make sure you manipulate the criteria to find different search results. And just do not give up when it comes to product research. Keep going, keep looking for that product because you're literally one product away from making hundreds of thousands of dollars per month. Make sure you're hustling, make sure you're writing things down and staying organized. If you liked this product research tutorial, 
leave me a comment down below. If you didn't like it or if you think that there's things that I need to talk about, let me know. I love hearing back from you guys and I will be sure to answer all your FBA related questions as soon as possible. I will catch you in the next tutorial. Have a productive and profitable day.